take their place on the stage. Zach. Zach. You want to take a seat? <laughs> so we have Zach Wild. Black Label Society. Alice Cooper. Yeah. From Pantera and Hell Yeah, Vinnie Paul. From uh, Black Sabbath, Dio, and Kill Devil Hill, Vinnie Apice. Uh, from 6 a.m., James Michael. Uh, from a gentleman mob, Mike Portnoy. <laughs> and also from a gentleman mob, as well as disturbed, John Moyer. <laughs> and uh, from the Black Bell Bride, we have Andy Biersack and Ashley Purdy. <laughs> also joining us is Michael Starr from Steel Panther. <laughs> And we're also joined by Monkey from Corn. <laughs> and uh, Ronnie James Dio's wife, Wendy Dio. So, my name is Brandon Geist, I'm the Editor-in-Chief of Revolver Magazine, and I'd like to thank you all for joining us here today. I'm very proud to announce America's fourth annual Hard Rock and Heavy Metal Award Show, the 2010, 2012 Revolver <laughs> Golden Gods. Every year the Golden Gods grows bigger and more badass, and this year I'm very proud to announce two huge partnerships that will take the Golden Gods to the next level of epicness. One. The Golden Gods has a new broadcast partner, Xbox Live. For the first time ever, the show will be broadcast around the world as it goes down in, in its entirety, both on Xbox Live and on the Xbox and Revolver Facebook pages. Additionally, Xbox will broadcast a two-hour black carpet pre-show special featuring exclusive interviews conducted by Twisted Sister D. Snyder with all the rock and roll royalty on hand. Besides broadcasting the Golden Gods live and in its entirety for the first time, the Xbox experience will allow for an unprecedented new interactivity for both the artists and the audience. The second partnership is with the institution that we're sitting inside right now, the Grammy Museum. We joined forces with the museum to launch on the same day as the award show a landmark new exhibit, Golden Gods, the History of Heavy Metal. We're joined today by Bob Santelli, Grammy Museum Executive Director, and Andy Cox, Grammy Museum Communications Coordinator, who will tell us some more about the exhibit. This place that you're sitting in is just about three years old, and we have had a number of exhibits here so far the most recent of which you can see just outside these doors, which of course is uh, dedicated to George Harrison. We've done things on hip-hop, we've done things on Bob Dylan, we've done things on fashion, we've done things on a lot of aspects of American music culture. But the one we're about to launch in just a few weeks is really special for a couple of reasons. One is it's certainly going to be the most visual exhibit that we have ever done. Uh, the kinds of pieces that my curators are telling me that are going to make up this exhibit and help tell the story of heavy metal are going to be amazing, absolutely amazing. But more importantly, at least from my end, it's about giving recognition and the respect that heavy metal and hard rock uh, often does not get in the world of popular music today. This is a music form that's been with us for a lot of years. It has made some of the greatest, most incredible recordings in American music and British music and really world music. Uh, and it is something that um, needs to be celebrated and needs to be interpreted so young people in particular who come through here understand the significance and the contributions that hard rock and heavy metal have made to the music spectrum here. So on behalf of the Grammy Museum, I want to thank not just the gentlemen who are up here and the ladies, uh, but also Revolver and everyone else who has given 
to this particular genre of music and is going to help us celebrate this genre of music. I can promise you it's going to be a first class exhibit. We are very, very excited. I never knew I had some metal heads in my, on my staff. They have come out of the woodwork. It's pretty amazing. Uh, and I am very honored to have them on my staff. One of the curators I'd like to bring up now is Andy Cox. So Andy, why don't you come up here and tell everyone a little bit about the exhibit. Andy? Thank you and welcome everyone to the Grammy Museum. Um, as Bob mentioned, I am serving as one of the curators for the exhibit, along with Kate Studer and Ali Studer, who uh, could not be here today, and Eric, who's back there making everything sound, oh, he's spotlighting himself, so, <laughs> <laughs> so many thanks to them. Um, what has been amazing so far about curating this exhibit, you know how when you're in high school and uh, you're upstairs in your room and you're listening to um, heavy metal, maybe you do or do not know, um, at an obscene volume and your mom calls up and says, what are you doing? Why is it so loud? What are you listening to? Well, that's been going around the office now. We have a what, what, why is it so loud? And now I can finally respond. It's for research. <laughs> so it's been really, really exciting. Um, it's been fun in other ways as well. Um, whenever you're focusing on an entire genre of music to highlight in a museum, um, it's not as easy as going to one estate or one person to get the artifacts that you need. And so when we went to Bob with this crazy idea of having paint the walls black and getting heavy metal in here, he said, sure, if you can do it. So uh, we went right to work. We got around the table and we said, how exactly are we going to do this? And then we started making calls. And I have to say, the metal community um, has just been so fantastic. Um, it's as easy in some cases as calling a manager and saying, we're looking for um, this, pe this specific piece. And you know, in one case, uh, a gentleman said, oh, that's hanging up in my bathroom. Uh, let me, what's the shipping address? I'll, I'll go take it down right now. It's been that easy in some cases. So it's been a lot of fun. Uh, what we want to do is make sure that uh, anybody who comes in here learns a little bit, a little bit of something. Um, we, we want all the metalheads to leave knowing something new, and we also want some 80-year-old grandmothers to go home and YouTube some anthrax videos. <laughs> so that's the goal. Um, this exhibit is dedicated to the fans, uh, the legions of metalheads. Uh, who are the most rabid individuals in the whole world, so we hope we, we do it justice. Um, speaking of artifacts, we have a couple happening right now. Uh, we're very excited. First of all, uh, Monkey from the band Korn is here, and um, Korn, Korn was one of those bands that my mom in high school was telling me to turn down, so I'm very excited about this. Um, he has brought uh, bagpipes. From that have been played on various Korn albums, including uh, Follow the Leader, which that's specifically the <laughs> album that I was told to turn down. So it's pretty amazing. These are Jonathan's bagpipes. Jonathan's bagpipes. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't ask me to play them. <laughs> I can uh, honestly say this is the first set of bagpipes that will be in this museum, and I, right. I love that it's going to be in a metal museum, so. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Peace. And now for the entertainment portion. No, um, and additionally, we have Miss Wendy Dio in the house, who is the widow of the legendary Ronnie James Dio, and uh, this is an artifact that we initially said, you know, we have to have this. And here it is today, uh, the handwritten lyrics of Holy Diver. So thank you again. Uh, thank you so much to Revolver, who has been the most amazing uh, partner to work with. Um, you can't believe the amount of things that they have done for us so far. So um, Josh and team, thank you very much. Uh, there are a few more people I want to introduce quickly. Uh, we're joined by Ozzy Osbourne bassist Blasco. Yeah. And by Pro Motocross rider and not only 
Holy Ghost founder, Brian Deegan. All right. So now moving on to the award show itself. Um, for that, I'm going to turn things over to Golden Gods host Chris Jericho. He's the front man of his own metal band Fozzy, a pro wrestling legend, best selling author, and as of this year's show, the three time host of the Revolver Golden Gods. So without further ado, the Ayatollah of Rock and Roll, Chris Jericho. First of all, Zach, I know you're going to be looking at my ass the whole time. So you are me. correct, sir! You are correct, sir! 2012 Revolver Golden Gods Awards show prevented by Epiphone. Prevented or presented by Epiphone. Not prevented because it's number four. We've done four of these things already. Every year it's the same cast of characters and it grows bigger and larger just like the show. It was a great success last year. This is going to be the biggest one yet. Live, April 11th, 2012, at the Club Nokia in Los Angeles, right here. Tickets are on sale at Ticketmaster.com now. VIP packages available at GoldenGodsAwards.com. Michael Starr's package is available right there. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to the sponsor, Global Live Broadcast on Xbox Live. That's new. It's huge. As well as on the Xbox and Revolver Facebook pages. So check that out. Thank you to the sponsors, Xbox, the Grammy Museum, this beautiful place, Epiphone Guitars, Roadrunner Records, Rockstar Energy Drink, Samson, Zoom, Drum Workshop, Musicians Institute, Marshall Amps, Eagle Rock Entertainment, and Dean Markley Strings. As in the previous two years, the winners in most of these categories will be determined by all of you, the fans, voting at GoldenGodsAwards.com. You must vote. There are a few awards every year that go to legendary artists, selected by the Revolver staff, including the show's title honor, the Golden God Award. Previously, the winners have been Dave Mustaine of Megadeth, Rob Halford, and a man who joins us today, Rock and Roll Hall of Famer, Alice Cooper. <laughs> It's always cool to say that I'm on the same stage as Alice fucking Cooper, man. I know we all feel the same. This year, the award will go to none other than the Kiss Demon himself, Gene Simmons. Yes! Yeah. Kiss will release their highly anticipated 20th studio album, Monster, later this year. I'm sure Gene made you make me say that. Always get the plugs, right? Gene is going to be here. That's cool. Now, to announce the 2012 Golden Gods performance lineup, here is a band that I'm sure was very influenced by Kiss, the winners of the 2011 Best New Band Award, and one of the groups playing the show this year. We got the Black Veil Brides right here. Yes! Um, we were honored to win the Best New Band Award last year, and unfortunately we're told that we can't win it again this year, so uh, it's not great. Uh, unfortunately, we were on the road at the time when we were, uh, we were unable to attend and had to accept the award via video. Uh, we're excited to not only attend the show this year, but also to play it. Um, along with our band, the performers of the 2012 Revolver Golden Gods Awards include Marilyn Manson in his first U.S. performance in nearly three years. Um, iconic guitarist Slash, who will be joined by singer Miles Kennedy of Alter Bridge. Do you want to say? Oh, Alter Bridge. And uh, Evanescence and 6AM featuring Nicky Six, a Motley Crue, DJ Ashbuck, Dustin Roses, and acclaimed producer and songwriter James Michael. And their first performance in almost four years. James Michael joins us today and he's going to reveal some of the year's Revolver Golden God nominees. So without further ado, James Michael. <laughs> First off, I'm, uh, uh, me and DJ Nick are really excited because uh, we haven't played live in four years and uh, we never really intended to be a band in the first place and we've gotten so much love that uh, we're actually going to get this thing going and we're really excited to be doing it here at the Golden Gods, so that's going to be cool. So the nominees for the Revolver Golden Gods, nominees of the Album of the Year, presented by Marshall Amps, are Anthrax, Worship Music, yes. yeah. Yeah. Evanescence, Evanescence. Five Finger Death Punch, American Capitalist. <laughs> yeah. Foo Fighters, Wasting Light. Corn, yeah. The Path of Totality. Yeah. 
<laughs> and Lamb of God, resolution. Yeah. And now to announce the best vocalist award is last year's recipient of the Golden God. And uh, a guy that just rocked this place last year. I was here and it was unbelievable. He was here with his uh, original band lineup, Mr. Alice Cooper. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the smell? There we go. Get him the all right. Well, I've heard of all these people. Uh, Revolver Golden Gods nominees for Best Vocalist, presented by Rockstar Energy Drink. By the way, everything they make has got like twice as much caffeine as anything in the world. Um, Sebastian Bach, heard of him? Sure. Yeah. Give your side. Me. That man right there. James Durbin, Amy Lee, Evanescence, yes. uh, Ivan Moody, and Jonathan Davis from Corn. Yeah. Yeah. That's stuff you could ban right there. That's what all those guys do. <laughs> no limp biscuit, huh? No. <laughs> uh, and Beaver didn't make it either. <laughs> no. No. Uh, no. I do. I do. I read this one too. Most metal athlete awards. Given to a special athlete. Well, who's gonna, of course, we know who's going to win this. I'm not, no, they can't be nominated anymore. <laughs> 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 the whole sort of disqualified. I mean, this is almost, uh, goes without that's saying. That's what they tell you. That's what All they right. tell you. Every year. <laughs> to his or her life in sports and rock hard while doing it. Past winners have included Olympic snowboarder Sean White, members of the Dallas Cowboys and skateboarder Mike. Ba le he li he lo. <laughs> Here to announce the 2012 nominees is one of them, pro motocross rider and founder of the metal Malusha. Malusha. Spelled wrong. I'd like to buy a bottle, please. <laughs> <laughs> We're touring the house over here. I'm sorry, man. That's Brian Keith. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Metal Militia, all right. So, yeah, we started this group, Metal Militia, back in the day and uh, when X Games first started. And uh, it was just a crew of guys that liked to listen to metal, ride dirt bikes, do back flips, break bones. And that was uh, how it all started. And uh, X Games 99, I remember I came out listening to Slayer. And, and it was just something that I just stuck with me the whole time through X Games. Is, you know, some of the other guys being you know, changed with sway to other things, I always just love metal and death metal. And, so it's something that's always represented me, and it's been super cool. So it really is an honor for me to be here and be a part of this. It's uh, super cool. Came from a small town in Nebraska, so a lot of things have happened for me coming out here that I just never would have dreamed of, so it is pretty sick. So, all right. So besides me being nominated, uh, the other people that are nominated for the Revolver, Golden Gods nominees, most metal athlete, <laughs> MMA fighter Gina Grano, MLB baseball player Evan Longoria, NBA basketball star Dirk no Nowitzki. I don't watch ball sports, so <laughs> <laughs> NFL player and Super Bowl winner Mitch Petrus or Petrus, I guess. And uh, is it? <laughs> I uh, I didn't really watch the Super Bowl either, so. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, WWE wrestler CM Punk got that. So <laughs> here to unveil the nominees in the Revolver Golden Gods two guitar player categories, including the new Riff Lord Award, which goes to the one master axe wielder with a talent for cranking out especially monstrous riffs. Here is the 2010 winner of the best guitarist trophy, Zach Wilde. Thank you, Bob Brock. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, the Revolver Golden Gods nominees for best guitars, presented by Epiphone, are Jinx and Jay Piss of the Black. Okay. Remember, just remember how I want it, how Uncle Zach won. <laughs> Strippers, blow, and payola. Went <laughs> <laughs> for the best. It had nothing to do with the plan. Alright, so also we got Zoltan Bathory. 
and Jason Hook of Five Figure Death Punch. Oh, he's around. Okay, here we go. All right. All right, uh. <laughs> Willie Adler and Mark Morton of Lamb of God. Yeah, yeah. Fine Irish Catholic band. <laughs> also, one of my favorites, Rob Flynn and Phil Devil of Machine Man. Yeah, yeah. Also, Father Mustaine. And Father Chris Broderick of Megadeth. Also, we got Matt Heafy and Corey. Well, I don't know how I spoke Corey's last name. What the hell is it? Hello. Let's just call it. It, it begins with a B. I'm a Corey. I'll beat your ass if you don't spell my name right. <laughs> Rally of Tr uh, Trivium. Yeah. Okay. That was. That was a terrible effort. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next we got the uh, Revolver Golden Gods nominees for the Whiff Lord are, once again, my favorite Irish Catholic rabbi rock guitarist, Scott Ian of Anthrax. <laughs> oh, jeepers. ZP Wilde of Black Labia Society. <laughs> Remember the payola and the blow and the hookers. Okay. Father Grove of the fighting Foo Fighters. We got Father Monkey of Core. I said Father Monkey of Core! Okay, brother. And then we have, uh, obviously, we have Father Slash of Slash Escape. And, uh, and actually, the, actually, for the nominees for the Riff Lord, this uh, young and upcoming kid, we're expecting great things from him. Um, his name's Eddie Van Halen, <laughs> and the band by the same name, Van Halen! Yeah! Okay. And uh, here's to announce the nominees for Best Drummer and Best Live Band of three of the most sickest drummers in the world. And by that, I mean that we just got them out of Bellevue, and they're here. <laughs> Give it up for Father Vinnie Paul of Pantera, hell yeah. We have a new album coming out this spring. And uh, yeah. yes, you can change it. Make sure you promote that time. The blow, the strippers, the payola. Okay, and then also, uh, let's give it up for uh, Video Peace about uh, Black Sabbath and Heaven and Hell. Yeah. And yeah. uh, also has a new band coming out right now. He's playing some hot rock and tracks. It's like Kill Double Hill. Yeah. Mike Courtney, our brother Mike Courtney over here, formerly of Dream Theater, and uh, Ben Sevenfold, who currently has a new band, Led Zeppelin, <laughs> also the Carpenters, also Crew of the Gang, <laughs> and he's also managing, doing the laundry, and catering for another band called Adrenaline Mob. <laughs> It is now your turn. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who could follow that? Wow. Okay, this is the Revolver Golden Gods Award for Best Drummer presented by Drum Workshop. R. And we can assure you all these guys are badasses. I promise you that. Let's start off with Charlie Benante from Anthrax. Come on! Yeah. Jeremy Spencer of Five Finger Death Punch. Come on! <laughs> Taylor Hawkins of the Foo Fighters, Badass himself. Come on! One of my personal favorites, I don't mean to be in one direction or the other, but I'm with uh, the Catholic Church over there. Let's hear it for Chris Adler from Lamb of God! Yeah! Brand Taylor of Mastodon, King of Six Eight Time. And Thomas Hawk of Meshuggah. Oh, back to me. Okay, the Revolver Golden Gods nominees for Best Live Band presented by Samson Zoom are... Mike? Before I start, I'd like to christen Chris Jericho, the Billy Crystal of Metal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> All right, best live band nominations. My Young Brothers of N Sevenfold. The Foo Fighters. Brand new band, Guns N' Roses. Another brand new band, Judas Priest. Uh, old timers, Seether. <laughs> and the great Tool. Now to announce the nominees for the first ever Paul Gray Best Bassist Award, named in honor of the late great Slipknot bassist who took home two awards with his band at the, two, at the 2009 Golden Gods. Here are two of the best bass players in the biz, Ozzy Osbourne bassist Glasgow and my new bandmate in Adrenaline Mob, John Moyer of Disturbed. You and I aren't in this list ever. <laughs> yeah, so much for being the uh, great bass player. I thought it was so great. That we're not on the list. <laughs> I thought because we were presenting, we weren't allowed to be in the category, but apparently that's not true. Because <laughs> <laughs> that theory. And we need to talk to Zach about the hookers and blow and blow. We're doing it wrong. We're doing it wrong. <laughs> so, uh, the Revolver Golden Gauze nominees for the Paul Gray Best Bassist Award presented by Dean Markley are. And I would like to say that it only took Revolver four years to get around to the bass player board. So. <laughs> Thanks for that. Roman only told me. <laughs> right. Last one. What's a living section? Frank Bellow of Andrax. <laughs> Michael Anthony of Chicken Foot. Nice. Fieldy yeah. of Corn. David Elfson of Megadeth. Yeah. Yeah. Nikki Six of 6AM. Right. <laughs> I think he's probably, you know, would want to be known as the dude from Motley Crue. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, last but not least, Wolfgang Van Halen of Van Halen. The Revolver Golden Gods nominees for Comeback of the Year, presented by Eagle Rock Entertainment, are... All right. Comeback of the Year, Anthrax. Right. Yeah. yeah. Dream Theater. Yeah. Evanescence. Yeah. Ministry. Oh, yeah. Yes. Slipknot. Oh, yeah. Woo, yeah. And with an amazing record in Comeback himself, Van Halen. Van Halen. Yeah. Yeah. And now, to announce the nominees of the Best International Band Award is a man who has banged groupies of every color, creed, and country. I totally wouldn't have said that if I had time to think of something better. But, uh, my good pal, Michael Starr of Steel Pan. Alright, what's up everybody? Nice shirt. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Just in case you didn't know, uh, the Revolver Golden God nominees for Best International Band presented by Musicians Institute are from Poland, Behemoth. Yes. Yeah, go ahead. Give it up. Yeah. Yeah. From Italy, Laguna, Laguna Coil. <laughs> from Germany, Rammstein. <laughs> Uh, from Brazil, Sapatoro. Yeah. From Sweden, Mashuga. Yeah. And from Japan, X Japan. Yeah. And uh, I think that they should have a new category for an award, and I think it should be like best looking bass player. <laughs> <laughs> think about it. And uh, to unveil the nominees for the final category, let me kick it back to. Bill no. Crystal! Yeah. <laughs> Billy Crystal, as long as I get paid the same cash, Billy Crystal gets paid to host the Oscars. What a great collection of miscreants and Malfeasians up here tonight, right? My goodness. The final category celebrates the people who really make all of this possible, the fans! The fans! Yeah. Woo. Yeah. I'm the first! I'm the first. 
<laughs> and the payola and the hooker. And the <laughs> Thank you, Zeke Wieldy, for the message of love. <laughs> the Revolver Golden Gloves nominees for the most dedicated fans are. Oh, so this, these fans have the most dedicated fans, is what we're saying here. I just want to explain that since you didn't write it properly, Josh Bernstein, you moron. <laughs> <laughs> the Revolver Golden Gods nominees for the band with the most dedicated fans are Asking Alexandria. Obviously, no dedicated fans. <laughs> Avenged Sevenfold, Black Veil Brides. <laughs> Evanescence. Falling in Reverse, and Him. Yes. Him. Alright, so that's it. So remember, Golden Gods, April 11th, 2012. Thanks all of you for coming. Tell your friends. Put us in all your magazines and websites and skywriting companies and all that other stuff. See you in the pit April 11th. Go visit GoldenGodsAwards.com for tickets and voting. And get ready to have a great time. Thank you very much. Good shot.